Kumusta? Hello everyone! My name is Diane aka Mommy D. For today's video, we'll take you to our family trip. We're going to Calgary and it's only 3 hours away from Edmonton. We're going to spend uh, 2 nights in a hotel and then our, on our second day, we're planning to go to Banff and Lake Louise. And on our third day, we're planning to do the Skyline downhill karting which we have never done before. And also the kids are requesting to go visit the Royal Tyrell Dinosaur Museum. Um, yeah, so if you're ready, we are ready. Let's go! Hi. Hi. Hi guys. Hi. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go to our One more. Going, Raiden. Calgary. Calgary. Let's go check on Kuya. Hi, Kuya. Hi. Kuya, say hi. Hi. Where are we going? Calgary. Oh, say bye. See you soon. Bye, school bus. Bye, school bus. Renzo, see you soon. Bye, school bus. Bye, school bus. Mommy, I saw a kindergarten flag. Say, see you soon. Mommy. Oh, shoo. I saw a Canada flag. You saw a Canada flag? Yes. What does it look like? It looks like a flag that it has Canada. <laughs> Keep in mind that all visitors to the national parks require a valid park entry pass. It'll cost you $22 for maximum 7 people in one car. We get ours online. So kung gusto mo ng stress-free trip, especially traveling with kids, please do research, plan ahead, and prepare everything prior. Lake Louise is almost 2 hours away from Calgary. We left the hotel at 9.30 in the morning. It's not even the long weekend and there's not a lot of people, but the parking was already full when we got there. So we ended up parking at a private lot that cost us a whooping $45. Yikes! What is so special about Lake Louise? It is the jewel of the Canadian Rockies. It's a stunning mountain setting with vivid turquoise waters. It's hard to resist dipping a hand into the water just to see if it's actually real. Unlimited aura ang peg mo dito and maging kamukha mo pa si Alden and Katrin. Charot. You can take unlimited Instagrammable selfies or group photos. Para kasing wallpaper lang ang view. You can also stay in Fairmont Chateau Hotel which is $2,000 per night. Wow. wow! If bet mo naman ng hiking, meron din naman mga trails surrounding the lake like the shoreline, Bow River, and Rock Pile. Moraine Lake is closed for personal cars so you need to take the bus. Lake Louise never fails to mesmerize me with its beauty. I hope you could go back and do hiking with my kids in the near future. Next stop is Banff. So from Lake Louise, it will only take 40 minutes to get to Banff downtown. Parking is a big issue if you're going to Banff Gondola, especially on the weekends. I would advise that you park sa downtown by the train station. There is a huge free parking lot there that can fit 500 cars. So if you don't want to take the chance or if you don't want to waste your time driving around, especially if you have kids and you have scheduled gondola tickets, it is also only 8 minute walk to the bus station. So when you get to the bus station, you take the number 1 bus going to Sulphur Mountain. Bus ticket is only $2, 12 and below is free. But if you have gondola tickets, then you get to ride the bus for free. From downtown, it will take 15 to 20 minutes to get to gondola kasi marami pang stops. When we got to gondola, the line was actually long. Our upload time was at 2.30 in the afternoon and we were 10 minutes late. Are you back? Oh no! And yun na nga. Getting off the bus, I was able to grab our food but I forgot the diaper bag. All along, I thought it was going to be a smooth trip. 
I figured I would just call the lost and found customer service when I get the chance. On a positive side, at least hindi na iwan yung food, di ba? Because we were so hungry and there were no valuable items inside the bag naman. So I didn't feel the urgency to deal with it right away. That's half up in a way. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! No! It takes 8 minutes, one way trip, going to Sulphur Mountain. I just had a little bit of anxiety because I have a mild fear of heights. Even Serenzo, he keeps crying. I'm scared. But the view was breathtakingly beautiful. Oh, Guys, it's a little bit of a little bit of a little bit of a little Don't look down, don't look down. Yeah, don't look down. I know it's scary and you know. be brave. Look at Kuya. Kuya is really there's no bottom. There is no so how long should you spend at Banff Gondola? Well, without kids, I would just go up there and take the time I need. I think 2 hours is sufficient, but if you're a hiker, you might want to take more time. And also, you need to take consideration of the kids and the weather. We were expecting it would be really cold as we were on top of the mountain, but it wasn't that cold. Two layers of shirts was sufficient that day. Don't even say that. 
Okay, dito tayo titira. <laughs> Bakit nag-stop? Pwede mag-move na po. <laughs> What can you say, Raiden? We are so high. We're so high? <laughs> Anong tinake mo? <laughs> A few moments later. Hey, I got you eating your Daddy. finger. What? Hi, Tita. Hi, Tita. What's that? It's a fire truck? What? Unfortunately, we're not able to retrieve the diaper bag. We tried to call and wait for the bus at the station, but it was not successful. Customer service said once the driver turns it in, they will contact me and have it shift to our address at my expense. As I've said earlier, there were no valuable items inside the bag, so I will most likely will tell them to dispose it. Anyways, it is what it is. What matters is we had fun. All the Renzo's diaper was soaking wet when we got to the hotel, poor kid. Overall, we had fun, although I wish we could have stayed a bit longer. But if you're traveling with kids and with a lost bag, it was very challenging. That's it for now. We'll see you tomorrow for our next adventure. Thanks everyone. Lots of love. Bye.